Hi, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is Talib Juice once again. So, what I want to go into is, uh, on today's video, I just want to quickly drop this video in. It's to do with sigil magic. And uh, so just a new way, or I'd say new, it's the way I've been doing this for the past few years of just creating sigils. And it's a way that I really like because it's creative, so it's one that I really enjoy doing. And I thought actually maybe you guys might enjoy doing this also. And then also show you how I charge the sigils, which is slightly different than just the whole, uh, in as many ways you can do it. You can bury it, flush it, masturbate, which is one that people like quite a lot. But it's without actually giving away your energy in that way, um, but giving it away in another way. Um, truth is, as we get older, masturbation isn't what it used to be. Uh, it's not, <laughs> you get what I'm saying, right? So, um, anyway, <laughs> pressing forward with this. Uh, let's just move on with it. So here's a sigil I want to create. It's called, uh, it, this phrase is I am blessed. And, and the reason for it is because it incorporates many things. Prosperous, it's like prosperity, luck, good fortune and these types of things. So I am blessed incorporates the whole of that. And instead of saying it is my will, it is my desire, I'm simply using the phrase I am blessed. And, and that's it. And if you look through my videos, you'll see previously I've done a video on the word I am and how important it is. The video is called Blasphemy. So if you watch that one to understand the power of I am, um, then you'll uh, get a bit more of a gist into it. And especially if you listen to someone like Terence McKenna. Terence McKenna uh, tells a story about how when God first came to be and he was like, I am that. I am. And the same thing, Moses, uh, the conversation with Moses and, and the burning bush and so forth and and from the Bible. So anyways, pressing on, I am blessed. The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to remove the vowels and all the repetitive uh, letters also. So we take those out and we're left with M, B, L, S and D. So we're going to now create our sigil. So what I did is basically drew some characters. Cut a long story short, I drew some characters. So I create faces of different characters and I didn't name them or anything, just create the faces. So first of all, I took a round circle for the face and I started with the first letter that I was going to use. And I didn't start with the M. A lot of times if you find a B in there, typically what I do is I'd use the B um, in order to do the eyes. So in this instance, I've used the B to create a pair of shades as you can see here. Um, cross out the B and then I've gone to, I went up to the second letter. You can do it in any order you want. Remember that. Be as creative as you want with it. I went to the D. And the D would form the mouth, as you can see. It looks like a mouth, an open mouth. From there, I then decided to draw a nose. And the L would form the nose, as you can see here. And then from there, I decided where am I going to use the S. So I used the S as an ear. As you can see here, there's one ear on the right-hand side. And then the M. I use the M for the head and the shoulders of the character, as you can see here. Now, the other thing I like to do, this is just me, you don't have to do this. The S could quite easily have been a piece of hair at the top on the head, if I wanted it to be. But I put another S in back to front, which formed the opposite ear. So that's my character. That's one character, for example, that I've created. Um, doing it here on... on on the PC, on the laptop, sorry, uh, it's quite restrictive actually in comparison to when you actually draw it in um, via, you know, when you draw it in on the piece of paper by hand. So what I did is I, I, I just drew them on, had lots of bits of pieces of paper, post-it notes actually, um, stuck all over the place with these characters on them. And I, actually, I didn't actually destroy these either, by the way. So, you know, when we talk about burning them, destroying them, sending them out to the universe, you don't actually have to. Think about company logos that don't get destroyed. They're out there all the time, constantly being charged, right? Uh, so once I did that, next thing is to charge it. So I'm going to show you a different way to charge it than what I probably spoke about last time. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't speak about this last time. I don't know. But this is the way that I charge these sigils all together. So I didn't sit there and try and rub one out to each and every sigil because that's a lot of work and a lot of energy being taken up, right? And then uh, if you create, say, five sigils, you don't remember which is which, and you're charging all five of them, surely the first one that you charge gets the most energy, because you need to recuperate to recharge the next ones and so forth if you're going to be masturbating all the time as well. Okay. Plus you're then releasing bodily food, fluids and you're basically releasing what you call your, your Christos, your Christ oil, which is your, your sperm. So from there, I then took the image and I put it inside a shape. You can put it inside any shape you want, put it inside a circle, any shape you want. But for this, I specifically, I used a star. Um, so I put it inside a star, um, as you can see, and then... I took these post-it notes and I just stuck them in my mirror. And this is how I charged them all together. I had them up there. And then when I started training, I started training. I picked up some, some dumbbells and I started uh, um, 
uh, lifting these dumbbells until the point of exhaustion when I got really really tired and I couldn't do it no more and I really had to push and really grunt to push this to lift this 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 these 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 dumbbells from there what I then did is I then stared at the sigils Ugh! until I became really exhausted from actually pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing so you know your muscles are burning and burning and burning but you send all those energies and all this charge to your sigils and I would do it consistently continuously and leave them up there never took them down the only time I took them down is when I had to clean the mirror um, and I still have the sigils I haven't got rid of them haven't thrown them away and a lot of the things have come to pass I just don't know which sigil was for which sigil now I don't remember anymore so now if, I, if you show me the sigil I don't know but from there you can do other things like then you can start to create characters and create a little story. Remember we spoke about the hyper sigil and creating a story and stuff like that. As we do more, I'll go into stories and things like that. I want to, the next video I want to do is going to be on the second hermetic principle because I want to go back into the universal laws and show you guys how you can use that to really create within your life. But sigils are a great way to get the subconscious mind also and program them. I know you guys like sigils. I love sigils. I think they're brilliant. And this is something I want to share with you guys that I've been using that I really, really love. Found works really, really well. And hopefully it'll work really well for you guys also. So um, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I want to make it nice, short and sweet. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for listening. Peace.